Um, you're gonna have to bear with me because first off, I'm still kind of sick. Second off, it's super cloudy outside. And third off, of course, right when I sit to film, um, there are people outside of my window like chopping down the tree around my house, like the extra long branches or whatever. But I guess they're like disrupting the neighborhood. So I'm gonna try to talk around the sawing. Oh God, this is so bad. So yeah, just hang tight. I actually literally think I just um, heard someone hop onto my balcony because the tree outside of my house, their trimming is right on my balcony. So I literally think there's someone out there. Anyways, for today's video, just like the title says, I'm going to be doing my closet tour. And I have wanted to not only show you guys my closet since we moved into this house, but also get it set up just right. And within the last week, I feel like my closet is officially set up just right. I will say I'm definitely not the most organized person in the world, so which you probably already know if you've been watching my channel for a while, but I have my own versions of how I keep things organized. Doing my closet like this, I actually mentioned this in my January favorites video, it took a lot of work and a lot of decluttering. And the way that I like to declutter is I like to take everything out of my closet or everything out of wherever it is that I'm trying to declutter so I can really get a good idea of the space that I'm working with. While I decluttered, I alternated between watching YouTube videos and listening to books on Audible. Now, if you have been on my channel for a while, you know that I am a huge Audible fan. I'm not kidding. I don't even really ever read books. I've only pretty much listened to books for the last few years. And Audible is such an awesome, easy to use platform. And they have literally hundreds of thousands of books on their site. The cool thing about listening to Audible too is that I have this weird thing with like cleaning and organizing in general. Like I like it. On one hand, I believe it is important to be a good like steward of the things that you own and take take care of your stuff. But then on the other hand, sometimes when I'm cleaning and organizing, I'm like, do I need all this crap? Like, what is this? Couldn't I be doing something better with my time? But I also really like having a nice closet and nice stuff and different pieces for different occasions. So it's this hobby that I have that I love that in some ways I feel like I'm wasting my time. And so the way that I've come to terms with that is one, I accept that my closet will not always be perfectly picked up and clean. And two, listening to books and educating myself while I'm cleaning is a cool thing that helps me feel very purposeful. The two books that I am listening to currently on Audible, one I'm re-listening to again, Present Over Perfect by Shauna Nequest. It is an incredible book that I think really speaks to the heart. I want to say of women, but I know every personality is different. She talks a lot about busyness and hecticness and, if that's a word, our addiction to a fast-paced lifestyle. And then the other book that I'm listening to is um, from, I guess they call it like a series called The Great Courses, where it's not not really a book, it's lectures that you can listen to. So it's really cool because you can go through their series of the great courses and learn about a bunch of different kinds of topics. I'm actually listening to a book on World War One, which I know is completely different than Present Over Perfect, but I'm really enjoying this lecture and just kind of trying to get a bigger um, scope on different world topics. You guys know that I love history, or at least if you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know I love history. And so getting to hear just more of the story of how World War One unfolded has been really interesting. Now, if you want to try out Audible, if you use my link that I have, audible.com slash Nikki, you will get a free audiobook with a 30-day trial. So that link will be down below. Once again, it's just audible.com slash Nikki. We're now going to dive into my closet tour. Feel free to leave any of your thoughts, ideas, comments, all of that in the comment section below, and I will see you soon. All right, so when you're standing outside of my closet, this is what you see when you are looking into my closet. Oh, yeah. And the newest addition to my closet, other than the lights hanging overhead, which I love, is the rug on my floor. I, I picked this rug up last week from Target, and I liked it because it had more cream than the carpet that's currently on my floor. I thought it looked really pretty against the clothes. Another thing is I also keep a diffuser in my closet just to help keep the room smelling fresh. And I usually have like eucalyptus or orange um, diffusing in the diffuser. How many times can I say the word diffuser or closet for that matter? Um, and then I have my sunglasses stored on top of this little bookcase and I picked up this sunglass organizer off of Amazon. It doesn't necessarily hold all of my super huge sunglasses um, perfectly flat, but it does a really great job, obviously, as you can see. Oh, ignore my alarm. 
um, of keeping everything really organized and just easy to see. And I keep other little things in this bookcase, my gloves, my watches, and also my jewelry, which I, if you've seen my jewelry collection videos in the past, I don't own even close to the amount of jewelry that I used to own, but I also don't wear as much jewelry as I used to wear. Fun fact, uh, that sparkly necklace is actually a vintage piece from the 1920s that I got at a um, vintage store before I went to prom in high school. And I have the little matching bracelet there too. This feels so weird showing all of this, but I wanted to give you like an actual tour. So on the left, I have a bin of like old sunglass cases um, and a beauty blender case. And then I have baseball hats and Mickey ears, Mickey ears, Mickey ears, as well as a travel pillow there on the left as well. So that's what's on the second shelf of this book shelf. And then on the bottom, I have scarves and beanies, which I have also significantly uh, cut down on my collection of scarves and beanies. That was like the biggest thing for me um, in cleaning out my closet is really trying to be honest about the things that I either wear regularly or will be wearing in the future. I'm trying to be honest about what I'm actually wearing. So um, that is my random little bookshelf storage. Now moving on to my purses, I actually keep my purses um, on the top shelf of my closet next to the diffuser as you can see. And so I have this row of purses right here on the right and then I have another row of purses as well as travel bags for cosmetics, shoes, all of that up on the left. And then above my shoes, um, I keep my two Dagny Dover bags, which are really like my big girl like briefcase bag situations when I have to bring my laptop places um, and I'm traveling for work or I'm going to be out all day. That is what I will bring with me. And then, oh, I have my little crossbodies hanging next to the bookshelf as well. So, at the back of my closet, I actually have my shoe rack, as you can see right here. Now, this was not in here when we moved in, and Dan actually built this for me, just like he builds or fixes pretty much everything in my life and in my house. And so he just put up some boards for me to stack my shoes, and so I've got them all stacked. And then at the bottom, I have my little mini collection of teaks. But um, I guess just going row by row is what we decided to do. This is the top row. This is the second row. And um, there really isn't any organizational pattern. I mean, for a while I tried to keep like similar colors together and like you know patterns or types of shoes but I feel like I fail out of it a lot and also there's a part of my personality that I kind of think that the chaos is kind of like pretty like I kind of like disorganization sometimes a little better so there's kind of a pattern to how things are stored not fully so then I have my three robes in the front of my closet which I feel like that seems really excessive but I totally use all three robes for different things just want to throw that out there for the record um, here's another shot of my shoes for some reason we got you know an overhead shot that I thought we desperately needed um, then over from like the back of my shoes to the front of my closet the way that my clothes are hung is I start with all the dresses so all of my dresses are in the back and then moving forward I have jeans and different colored pants um, like stretchy pants leggings sweats uh, moving into skirts and then shorts and then as you saw my robes and then if you flip over to the other side on the top like bar hanging section whatever I keep all of my um, sweaters and then I kind of keep them together by color as you can see in the back I've got all like my pinks and then we just work our way up um, and I also also have like by like weight too so in the back near the doors you can see I have more like my parka type jackets and I just really like jackets jackets are really a thing for me and then on the bottom I have all of my tops which I've also tried to keep in somewhat of like color organization also you will notice that all of my hangers are the same and they're no slip hangers and I used to have plastic white hangers which are totally fine but when I read Fleur's book The Lux Life she talked about how having no slip hangers really makes an effect on your clothes and the way that they hang and the way that they wear so I decided to invest in them and I just have to say she is totally right because the no slip hangers make it so that the weight of the clothes with the gravity pulling it like evenly distributes the weight on the clothing so you don't get any weird pulls so um, and then to anyone who's wondering that's where I keep my dirty laundry basket Wow look at me just being human with all my dirty laundry over there um, and then on the shelves like the in-between shelves between the top and the bottom I keep random stuff like um, shoe inserts I have like shoe stretchers because my feet are literally so wide I have to like stretch my shoes um, I keep stuff to clean my shoes I keep a little box that has uh, 
seamstress stuff, like needle thread to fix. Why am I calling it seamstress stuff? You get what I mean. And then I keep a little heart box that Teeks actually sent to me where I keep all of my cards from Dan. I feel like this is a really sweet way to end the closet tour. So that is the end of my closet tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the organizational tips. And also thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. I am so obsessed. And if you haven't checked out Audible, be sure to use my link if you want to give it a try at audible.com slash Nikki. And I will see you all very soon with another video and I hope you have a great day. Okay.